Hey everyone, this is Lee Kendrick, founder of Credit U-Turn, and today I'm going to show you the power of Credit U-Turn's 100% automated credit report analysis and credit dispute letter preparation, as well as dispute letter submission, tracking, refreshing every 30 days, show you how easy it is to use this awesome automated tool. So Credit U-Turn, scrolling down here on this page, this is a 100% automated mobile credit repair app that does not charge you any credit repair fees. Zero zip zilch. Scrolling up here, this is a mobile window view of our Credit U-Turn website, and you can see that it's a secure page, credituturn.com. This right here is a login area that you can log in on a mobile browser. If you were on a desktop computer, you can also access this in the top right corner of the website page. In both places, if you click on the login button, you can see that you have a choice of logging in as a user, partner, or affiliate. Users are any individual person that is using the mobile app for, the assist, for assisting them with their credit repair. As a partner, you would be logging in as like a car dealership, mortgage company, real estate professional, somebody that has a customer that they're referring to the Credit U-Turn mobile app so that you can use it as a user. A, an affiliate would log in to track how their partners are doing that, have, that they have recommended that they send their customers, which is you, to use the mobile app. Okay, So uh, you can also download this on the App Store. You can also download it on Google Play, depending on what type of, a, of uh, mobile device you're using. So I'm going to click on the Google Play button right now and show you how easy it is to install. So this takes us to the Google Play Store. This verifies that you're on the Credit U-Turn mobile app. This is the uh, profile image for Credit U-Turn and the installation button. Scrolling down the page a little bit, this shows you how uh, beautiful the website is. It's very simplistic, very easy on the eyes to look at. You can click the Read More button right here to learn a little bit more about the app, the steps uh, that you follow in order to make the app work. Uh, and again, it's it's awesome. It's very lightweight. It's very quick to uh, install. So I clicked the installation button there, and it's installing. It only takes it a few seconds. And once that completes installing, we're going to click open. And now that we clicked open, you go through the splash screen. Then it takes you to a login screen. Now, if this is your first time using it, you would not log in. The very first thing you would do is click register. So we're going to click register here and this brings you to a registration page. Now, I need to put in a real user. We're going to mask or blur out the real user's name, but for purposes of, the, of this video, I will always refer to this person as our test user, okay? So I'm gonna put in a first name, and we're going to put in a last name, and then their email address, and making sure that I get this right. I'm a little bit slow typer. And then we'll load in an e or we'll load in their password. And uh, I'm gonna show you something here real quick. So I'm gonna take off one character. I'm gonna click register. And it would not allow it to go through because it said it should contain at least one special character. So I always recommend that you add a special character somewhere within the password as well as upper and lowercase letters and hopefully even numbers just to make your account more secure. So after you fill in this information, first name, last name, email, password, and confirm your password, you click register and it's going to register your account. It's going to load up another splash screen and take you to your profile page. Now, profile is super important because you want to use your legal information, so like your full legal name, not nicknames, not like shortened versions. So if you're Richard, don't put in Richie. You want to put Richard there. And the reasoning for that is it helps you clean up your credit profile and it helps improve your credit scoring, just even cleaning up your personal information. Uh, because a lot of people will have like various spellings of names and and also if you've had any other bad accounts somewhere that used Richie but you're actually Richard whenever we dispute that account and we've also gotten Richie deleted it might make it easier to help delete that other um, account or at least fix it okay so I'm going to put in a first name here 
and once again we're uh, masking this information or blurring it out you would only choose a suffix if you actually have a suffix second third fourth fifth junior senior if you don't have a suffix just click back outside of that so that you don't choose one and then we're going to load in a date of birth now on an Android you have to select your year that you were born in first so I'm gonna scroll back here to a birth year and then we're going to uh, mouse over on the calendar to a birth month for that same year confirm that and then I'm going to click a date and then OK and then I'm gonna confirm that everything is right there and then I'm going to load in a social security number and again this information will be blurred out we're gonna scroll down and put in a phone number and once again we're gonna blur this out as well and then a physical address so the physical address is where you live currently and not an address that you're moving to not an address that you've moved from but where you're living currently line two of this is if you have an apartment number so this user does have an apartment number uh, so you could put like APT and then the apartment number or you could put like a uh, hashtag and pound number and then we're going to put in a city and then on an Android device you need to click the uh, drop down list uh, indicator over to the far right and then scroll down to choose your state and then we're going to load in a zip code now right underneath of here this is the bottom of the screen it says mailing same as physical and that indicates yes that the mailing address is the same as a physical address if you uncheck that and move that slider to the left now another area opens up down here where you could load in like a P.O. box now this user does not have a P.O. box so I'm going to delete that from here but this is what you would use if you use a separate mailing address but since we're not doing that I'm going to move the slider back over here and that field disappears and then we move all the way up here to the top right of the screen where it says save and we're going to click save to save your profile information and that's the information that will appear on your dispute letters you also need to know that we do not sell share or distribute your personal information and everything that you enter there and throughout the app is encrypted using top level encryption methods to make it very difficult if not totally impossible for hackers to access your information okay um, if you're a hacker and you're looking at this please don't take offense to that we really want you to understand the purpose of this IAP is helping millions of people that have had credit issues and this is the only automated tool on the market so please don't try to do anything uh, we don't want to slow down um, usage for anybody else so a uh, little joke that I'm making there people because uh, it's very very secure so this is a verification images screen uh, this is telling you that we require at least a photo ID right here and a signature right here at the bare bones minimum the first and fourth things however I'm definitely going to recommend that you provide all images for best results and there's a couple reasons why if you don't provide proof of your social security number or proof of your address after credit agencies have up until 30 days and sometimes there's an exception where they can have up to 45 days to verify your information and to also ask for verification of accuracy completeness or verifiability of an account that you're disputing and they might wait for 30 to 45 days to mail you a letter that still takes another two or three days to come in that could be confusing you might not even realize what it says but it might say buried within there it might say unable to dispute this account or all these accounts because we need proof of your social security number and we didn't receive that okay so I definitely recommend that you complete all of these things so another thing I want to show you is on any of these screens if you click on the X to X out you're gonna get a pop-up that says are you sure you want to exit the app this screen is telling you that in order to analyze your credit report credit u turn needs at least one picture of an ID and for you to create a signature for your dispute letters okay so we click cancel right here and we go back to take picture of photo ID now once we click that it says take a picture of driver's license or government issued ID credit agencies want proof that it is you disputing your credit so first thing is always recommending that you use a driver's license that matches the address that you provided 
if you don't have a driver's license, a state issued ID. If you don't have a driver's license or state issued ID, like a military ID, something that's very, very official document. Okay, so we're going to click OK here. And then we're going to allow Credit U Turn to take pictures and record video. We're not recording any video, but you do want to click Allow. If you click Deny on any of these things, you're not going to be able to use the Credit U Turn app because we have to be able for you to access your camera to be able to take pictures. Okay? So hopefully you're using your mobile phone whenever you use the mobile app because it's easier for you whenever you use your mobile phone because you'll be able to take a better picture of your driver's license and proof of your social and that sort of thing. Whenever you do take a picture, turn your phone sideways, horizontal, so that you can fit your driver's license within the same aspect ratio of your mobile phone screen so that you'll get a better image and fill up the entire screen. Don't take a little tiny image, fill up as much of your screen as possible. So for the purposes of this demo though, I'm using a desktop app to simulate using a mobile app. So I loaded in preloaded fake images of a driver's license, social security card, and uh, like a utility bill. So I'm going to go to the gallery, not the camera. And in the gallery, I'm going to select a fake ID and um, it asked me if I want to allow Credit U-Turn to access photos, media, and files on my device. I said yes, allow. And then I'm going to move this right here to highlight the information that I want it to see. Now, if you take your pictures on your camera, on your mobile phone, you're not going to have this issue. But as you can see here, I cannot put the whole ID within this little area and I can't stretch this right here, so I have to fit it within this area. If you take your picture on um, using the camera on your phone, it'll always fit within there. So I'm just gonna move that around as best possible. Then I'm gonna go up here and click Crop. And then it shows a green check mark that says that I've completed that. Now, our security, I can't see that, my team can't see it, you can't even see your ID, and it's not stored where it's visibly accessible to any referral partner, affiliate, or anybody within like backend dashboards. That image is literally encrypted so that nobody can see it, okay? Um, proof of social security number, I am clicked that button, and it says take a picture of your social security card, W-2 or 1099 forms, tax forms, Credit agencies want proof that is you disputing your credit. So again, this is going to be encrypted, and so nobody's going to be able to access it. The only way that your image, it, the only person or party that sees your image is the end recipient, which is the credit agency. They're going to receive it anyway. If you don't use this mobile app and you wrote dispute letters, you would literally fold up copies of your driver's license, your social security card, and like proof of your address, and you would mail it in mail. We don't mail it, we use a much more secure method, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna click OK here, and I'm gonna go to the gallery. I'm going to click the social security card, and I'm gonna click crop, green check mark, then I'm gonna click proof of address, take a picture of a recent utility bill, bank statement, or postmark mail, proving your address to the credit agency so they know that it's you disputing your credit. Again, in this one, this is a little bit different. So your utility bill, bank statement is usually gonna be like a full sheet of paper. I don't need you to take a picture of that whole sheet. I don't need the account number. All that you need to do is take a picture of a portion of that bill that will fit within the full screen of the mobile phone that displays your address a recent date, hopefully less than 30 days old, and who the bill came from, okay? That way they can authenticate that it's a recent utility bill or bank statement or postmark mail. Postmark mail is last resort, so preferably utility bill, phone bill, gas bill, electric uh, bill, uh, something along those lines, or a bank statement. So, and also in that second option where you took a picture of your social security, if you used your W-2 or your 1099 and your W-2 or 1099 address is still the same, you don't really necessarily need to do this third thing because the credit agencies will utilize your 1099 or your W-2 
as your proof of address plus your proof of your social. So now on this one, you can see that all that I'm doing is I'm moving this little box around so it highlights the company, it highlights the uh, personal um, address, name and address, it highlights the company's address, and it highlights the most recent date of activity. You click crop, green check mark, and then the last thing, all the dispute letters will always be signed with your signature. So you don't want to create a sloppy signature. You want to sign your signature on the mobile phone screen sideways as close as you can to the signature that's on your ID because the credit agency, the person reviewing your dispute letter, is going to want to see whether or not your signature looks similar to the signature that you have on your ID. So I'm going to tap that Create Signature, sign your name as close as possible to the way that appears on your photo ID so the credit agencies don't reject your dispute letters. Click OK and then sign your name. So I'm just putting Test right here in the middle and signing it like I would maybe on an ID. I'm going to click Save and then a box opens up. I can move around to make sure that my signature appears in there. Now whenever you sign sideways, if you notice, you don't want to sign outside that box area, so kind of sign it a little bit in the middle of the screen, just sideways. Okay, Click Crop, and that creates your signature. And then something magical just happened. After you complete those things and you got those check marks, a button here pops up that says Continue. So we're going to click Continue and then it takes us to setting up your credit monitoring account. Now this is really important because we have to be able to access your credit reports so that we can analyze it so the software can determine what needs to be disputed, what might not be 100% accurate, what might not be 100% complete or verifiable. Remember, just because you had a bankruptcy doesn't mean it's reporting properly. Just because you had a repossessed car or collections or late payments or any of those things doesn't mean that it's accurate, complete, or verifiable. So our software looks at it and kind of makes some determinations to determine whether or not um, it might not meet all of that criteria. Okay. So then I'm going to load the password that I used previously just for simplicity so that I'm using the same information from service to service. I'm going to click register here and then it loads up a screen that passes through first name, last name, email, and um, zip code. And then I also ask whether or not you want the credit monitoring provider, which is a third party service, not us to send any special offers from them and their partners to your email. I'm going to leave that unchecked. You can do whatever you want to. And then on the screen, you want to click this yellow button where it says your scores now. So I'm clicking that. And then it says step one complete. And then it we have preloaded from the uh, mobile app the user's first name, last name, address, city, state, zip. I'm comparing just to make sure that all that information still looks correct, and so far it does. I'm looking at the um, email address down here as a user ID, password. It says, is getting your score part of a sweepstakes or free giveaway? That's a common question. I'm just going to say no. I usually recommend that you say no, and then click continue. And then down here, step two, confirm uh, privacy security protected. Okay, so I'm going to manually re-enter re in social security number. I'm going to double check it, make sure it's perfect because it does not ask me to reconfirm it. I'm going to change the birth date, okay, to match what, it's, what it actually is and make sure that that is accurate. Give me just a second to slide down there and I got the month and day and then we're going to choose the year to make sure that this information is accurate. And then I'm just going to look at the screen again, make sure everything's okay, and it is. And then scroll down and click continue. And then it's thinking right now. And we'll let that cycle through. Now, while we're waiting for that to cycle, uh, oh, here it's already done. It is at the authentication screen. Okay, so we've got some verification questions we have to ask. It says, which of the following represents the last four digits of your primary checking account number? Okay, so I'm just putting none of the above, does not apply. And then right here, 
which of the following people have lived with you in the last 10 years? If there's not a match name, please select none of the above. So I am choosing none of the above. And then according to our records, you graduated from what high school? So uh, this gentleman, I'm pretty sure that he lived in Pennsylvania and select the county for the address you provided. So selecting that county. And then I was born in the year of, and then submit authentication, processing the questions, and it says step three is verify. It reminds you that checking your credit will not hurt your score. It helps find possible errors. Monitoring will alert you of new accounts, so you'll get like alerts from your credit monitoring service. There's a lot of value in this as well. So now we're going to load in the payment information, and I'm tapping in here to get that started. And again, we're masking out a lot of information as we go through, just uh, obviously for personal protection. And choosing the card type, and then the card number. Let's get that loaded in here. And expiration date. Okay, and then the three-digit code that's on the back of your card. And you can use MasterCard, Visa, Discover, American Express. Now this tells you right here that you also receive roadside assistance with it, but your monthly membership, this is the only thing that you would pay for unless, uh, if you're not already a pro credit user. If you aren't a pro credit user, the only thing you pay for to use the app is just this, $39.90 per month, and you don't pay any credit repair fees, okay? So I'm gonna click this where it says, I agree and accept, take me to my scores, and it's processing the payment, and then after the payment processes, then it says, welcome to your new credit monitoring membership. Please wait while we process your order. Now, while that's processing, I want you to remember that during the, uh, and it also tells you your report is currently being analyzed. This can take up to 30 minutes. We will send you a notification as soon as it is complete. In the meantime, you can view more information about improving your credit on our YouTube channel. We also have some other social media channels as well on Facebook and Twitter uh, that I definitely recommend that you follow us on. Uh, we're also on LinkedIn as well as Snapchat and some other services. But YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, we update frequently. Okay. So instead of looking at that, after the credit report is analyzed, it would take you to um, the notifications tab will tell you that you've got your credit reports ready to go. Then that would take you over to your letters that you approve, edit, deny, or submit, um, or recreate. Sorry about that. And then you would see on your dashboard like a, sna a snapshot synopsis summary of like your current credit situation. And then profile area is where you can go at any point in time to update verification images. Okay. And then right here, this would take you back to the last screen. If you click that close button, you can update your personal info. Okay, same thing here. We're going to close that. And then update password. You can update your password right there. Or you can log out of the app. Now, look, down here, we have a notification already where it showed that little red dot. It says dispute letters to approve. Click here to view your letters tapping that and then it says new dispute letters generated please view and approve your letters to be sent letters will be automatically sent in 48 hours and what that means is if you don't approve edit deny or recreate your letters the app is going to automatically assume that you have approved them and it's going to go ahead and submit them so you need to be aware of that so let's click go to and then that took us over to this letters tab, okay? So I'm gonna show you this dashboard. You can always go back to the letters by clicking down here anytime you want. So let's go look at a letter. So free credit report request Experian, okay? We wanna ask for a free credit report from them also so that we can establish a case file. So all of your letters are always unique. It shows a subject line, it shows a date, who it's going to, it shows um, like a salutation, it shows a body of a letter, and then it shows a signature, name, address, like an apartment number, city, state, zip. And on the app, remember, everything's encrypted. So what it says here is hidden and hidden 
the only people that can see that information are the credit agencies after it's submitted to them. So in here, you can deny, or you can submit, or you can come down here to edit, okay? And then on this edit, you can click cancel, okay, or you can regenerate. So if you click on regenerate and say okay, it will create a new letter for you. Different layout, different salutations, slightly different language in the letter, okay? So it's pretty cool how that works. It even changes up like your font size, font type, that sort of thing. So now we're going to say yes, this letter looks good. And then we would click submit, okay? And then your trade line dispute, you would go in here and this shows like what a simple like what a trade line dispute now your mobile screen scrunches this stuff up on your letter it won't be scrunched up like that as much okay uh, but it shows the date account name account number that you're wanting to dispute okay and the same thing here you can deny submit or you can regenerate your letters or right here you could turn off an account if you want to so I'm turned off one of those and now whenever it reloaded the letter you only have one account being disputed now I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna say I want to turn the other one off click OK now I can turn one the other one off okay now I'm just gonna go back in there and turn them both on and then regenerate a new letter so now I'm regenerating a new letter and it looks a little bit different different salutations different language so now I'm gonna say submit personal information dispute over here so personal information is like you're disputing like an old address so I know that this person does not live at this address we're gonna mask this out anyway so you can't see it but he does not live at this address so we're disputing that okay so an app is doing it so nobody had to manually create any letters okay so over here same thing so I know that this letter's good please provide me with a free copy of uh, credit reports free credit report request with TransUnion created, submit, trade line dispute over with another place. Look, this one, we've got five accounts we're disputing. Okay, so this one, I'm going to click submit, and then one more where we're disputing some more personal information, different dispute letter, and you can regenerate as often as you want to. Okay, so like this one you can see that it says attention dispute department right here um, and then please dot 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 delete the following false personal identifying information we're gonna click regenerate again let's see if it looks different this one says uh, it moved it so instead of being up on the top it moved it down and then this one says dearest dispute supervisor okay so now we're gonna click submit and then if you're happy with the app and you like it, hopefully you are, we really ask that you share this so that your coworkers, your friends, your family, your social media friends all get the benefit of using Credit U-Turn as well. So you would click share and then you could share the link using like social media services. They're not appearing here because I'm on a what's called an emulator on my desktop, but on your mobile phone it would recognize like Messenger, Facebook, Twitter, other social media platforms and then uh, I've already shown you the profile area so basically in a nutshell people that is the extent of the mobile app so uh, I always recommend leaving the mobile app on and just kind of running in the background so that you can get credit alerts credit tips you'll know like if I'm um, doing like a live stream oh and over here on the dashboard this right here will show you positive accounts uh, right here you've got 26 positive it'll show you that you're disputing seven items it'll show you that you have seven negative items if you've had anything deleted then it would also show you another area and um, so this gives you your dashboard you can rotate this around you can grab it um, we can scroll down the screen right here it says that of these items that are up here of those 26 positive items that's on all three bureaus so the, this uh, test user has six positive items with Experian 13 with Equifax 7 with TransUnion negative accounts per bureau disputed per bureau how many have been deleted and this person has not had any credit inquiries in the last two years 
And I'm going to tell you, they're probably just embarrassed because they've got low credit scores. So these are their credit scores at Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion on today's date. Okay, This right here are links, direct links to our Facebook group page. We have a private members area that you can go to to get help. Or you can put in support tickets. Okay, If you click support, it'll ask you what service you want to open it in. So we're going to click here. And that says open it up right here. And then there's a form that opens up. You just put in your email, what your issue is, and then type in the description and then submit. Okay. So now I'm going to go back into the app that's on your mobile phone. So you can see it's a really nice design. And we'll open that back up and that brings you back to your dashboard. And then this right here opens up to YouTube. And that'll take you to our YouTube channel. And you can see that you're in the Credit U-Turn channel. So um, again, I'm going to go back into the app. So folks, that is the power of Credit U-Turn. And, and really, what the real power of it is, is that you don't have to know credit laws. You don't have to know how to write the letters. You don't know have to know how to analyze a report. You don't have to um, manually submit anything. You don't have to worry about security of your information. You don't have to worry about tracking your progress. It's going to do it for you. And you also uh, don't have to worry about doing it again every 30 days, every 30 days, every 30 days. It's going to do that for you. And it's going to tell you whenever you possibly might be ready uh, to accomplish the goals that you have of either getting a new credit card or lower interest rates or reducing your payments or getting the car that you need or buying your new home. Um, and we're constantly going to be adding new features. So again, completely 100% automated, no credit repair fees. And just keep in mind that through here, please, please follow my live streams, the daily content that I put up. Please take my advice. Please ask me questions because part of your credit repair process is also rebuilding your credit. And there are some things that you can do as you're going throughout your credit repair journey to also improve your credit as you're going along. So thank you for checking the app out and uh, please give us some feedback and please share it uh, with all of your friends, family, and coworkers. Thanks.